Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Polytrade. If you like this kind of content, you should definitely stay to the end of this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon and our Discord to come. I need you to remember something though. This is not financial advice. We don't accept liability for loss that you might incur. And everything here is for news and information purposes. So with that in mind, you should be able to enjoy this video. Today, like I said, we're talking about Polytrade. Currently down from its all-time high. Personally, for me, I'm going to be buying the dip on this current opportunity because I think we're, we're pretty much getting close to bottoming out. Now, obviously, I can't tell because crypto markets are a little bit volatile and they will do whatever they want. So I can't really tell you what the best time to buy the dip is. But I will say this. Based off of the supply and the market cap and the current use cases of this, I personally think it's still a very good buy at this price. And, you know, I consider loading up a relatively large dip on this. Now, or load any dip you want. I'm personally loading up a decent sized one. Why am I bullish on it? Well, they're starting their DeFi lending proto protocol and their mainnet is set to launch on January. So if they actually launch in January and they start their mainnet, then that could be a really opportune time right now to be loading up for that because if it takes off and the mainnet is successful and they're actually developing projects for the metaverse this could become something much bigger than just a six million dollar market cap personally i think it's a micro cap and it could be very 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 lucrative but high risk so i figured i'd at least let you guys know uh, more or less here, it's just talking about like their approach to the to the whole situation how they're going to be launching in January and how they want to basically, you know, create strong enterprise in the metaverse. That's more or less what they're getting at. They also uh, talked about, you know, integrating with chain link price feeds to help secure SME focused stablecoin lending. And, you know, that sounds like a mouthful, but you know what I mean? More or less what they're saying is that by using chain link price feeds, they'll be able to actually create an, an ecosystem that allows them to create stablecoin lending and you know like secure sme focused uh development for that so it's like small to medium enterprises being able to access stablecoin lending in i guess the metaverse as well as like the cryptoverse so they want to create a different type of banking system and that's kind of valuable because trade finance if you watch the first video i'm not going to get into it today because there was a lot to get into about that and trade finance in itself is pretty compl complicated, but they want to simplify it. And I could see a relatively good use case in that. The next thing was this. So one of the, pe the, the people behind it, the advisors, one of them was Sandeep Nailwal, who was the co-founder of Polygon and Coup of Polygon. And then this guy here, Samip Sing Singanya. So this guy right here is actually one of the founders of... Quick swap, and you could even see it here. I remember a quick swap. Quick swap. He's basically saying that a these two relatively large players are getting behind this project, and usually what happens is is people tend to stick together. So it's like if you see a group of people that you come up with and it's successful, and then you grow up these people, they're gonna grow up all the people around them. That's just the way it works. And from what I could tell with this project is that they have uh, people that are building together. So if they're building together as advisors with the team, then clearly there happens to be some form of connection with all of them. And that's, that's a good thing, right? And I take bets on things like that simply because if you see that relatively successful people are bringing up other people, there's a good chance that those people will be successful too, simply because they want to see success as a whole for everybody. So for me personally, I would, I'm would i taking my bet on that. Obviously, like it's not financial advice. You could do whatever you want, but I'm just telling you my perspective and that's what you're getting here. That's all, all you get when you tune into this channel is just my opinion and how I see things. So those are more than enough reasons to consider uh, Polytrade as a decent alt, you know? They've also established a partnership with Mir Protocol and they're talking about using ZK rollups to protect institutional payments and financing related data. So that's definitely something valuable. 
the other thing too that I wanted to bring in was this as well. So uh, Pyraga is taking over the reins from Jack Dorsey, meaning that Jack Dorsey is stepping down from Twitter, probably due to all the weird things that have been happening in general with him and Twitter and the government and all that, which isn't really my uh, area of expertise, so to speak, for this channel or what I would talk about on this channel. But Jack Dorsey did a bunch of weird, shady things, and now he's stepping down because I think he realizes that if he doesn't, then he's going to be, you know, crushed by, you know, regulations and government and stuff like that. So he's handing over the reins to Paraga. And what's interesting is Paraga went to the same school as P. Gupta, which is basically Piyush Gupta, the founding member of Polytrade. So they both went to the same school together. And as you can see here, in general, the people from Polygon and Polytrade, they seem to be in with each other. So it's coming to my perspective that they're forming strategic bonds within circles of people that they all kind of know or know through affiliation to keep it within themselves. And that's usually what most people will do. So just based off of that, I could see Polytrade potentially riding off the coattails of having people like this being involved with Polytrade, with Polygon, with Twitter. The way I see it is it's, it's being strategically laid out. That's how I'm looking at it. The last thing too that I wanted to mention was this. It was just talking about how Polytrade is going to be like helping to shape the future of trade finance with DeFi. So by using DeFi protocols, they're going to allow for trade finance to be much more accessible and applicable in a global market for SMEs, small, medium enterprises everywhere. And I covered a lot of that a lot more on my first video about Polytrade when I went into the white paper. And if you really want to know more about trade finance and what it is, watch Polytrade on my YouTube so you can actually get a much more full understanding of it. So. Guys, if you watched to the end, thank you so much for watching it to the end. We just broke 2K subs, so thanks for all that love. We'll see you at 5K and 10K subs and many more to come. And we have our Discord launching in January as well as our Patreon, which is already here. So you can get early access to a lot of things just by being on the Patreon. Take care.